name's Paul Gray. I'm from Reengineering Australia Foundation. I'm the general manager here, and I'm recording this on a flip camera. The Reengineering Australia Foundation has been set up primarily to get young people excited about careers in engineering and manufacturing. One of the programs that we run at Reengineering Australia Foundation is called F1 in Schools. We're using the excitement of Formula One to expose kids to the, the sorts of tools and technologies that engineers and manufacturers are working with in industry. The students design a small scale model Formula One car like this one here. They use CAD software, CNC machines, all the sorts of tools and technologies that people in industry would be using to design and manufacture products. The best teams each year from Australia have a chance to compete at a World Championship event. We wanted the Australian teams to be the best and to win, and to do that we need to give our students access to the best sorts of resources that we can. Last year we gave um, a group of students from a school at Noosa District State High School the opportunity to collaborate with some students from Manitoba, um, which is a province in Canada. The whole project, in a sense, was developed using WebEx as the prime communication tool for that collaboration. It was obviously highly effective, but these guys came third outright in the World Championships and won the Best Collaboration Team Award, which we're, we're very proud of. Not all of the high schools have access to a CNC machine, a computer-aided manufacturing machine to, to manufacture their cars, and they'll get another high school that does have one of these pieces of technology to do the manufacturing for them. But not only will that school do it, the school will webcast that whole process um, using WebEx Meeting Centre, and through application sharing and using a, a webcam, Kids at a remote school can actually start the machining process. They can control this CNC machine from the other side of the country. And in effect, they are making their own car. They're seeing it being cut out. They're hearing all the noise um, and experiencing it as if that machine was sitting there in their classroom with them. So it's been just totally amazing from, from that perspective. We think it's really important that young people learn how to collaborate using these types of technologies. I guess it's part of being an effective participant in the global economy in a sense, being able to be in an organisation uh, that's working with people around the other side of the world and to do that effectively you really need to use these types of technologies. 